Hello people with spirit of learning. Yeah, welcome back. This is Angga Rizky and now we're gonna learn about the button. So in the previous video that we have been learning about the a text view icon and anything and right now I just delete them and we could just go with button. Okay, so we make it like red button and then red button. Okay, so this is the button, but you could also just delete this and then you're going to design section and you're looking for the button here okay so button itself they got a five option which is button or image button or radio button toggle button and floating button and then right now our focus is uh, starting with the button itself just button like this okay and then we can just go back into the text okay is so small and i'm going to make it like you know to the bottom like this okay cool and now i'm going to uh, give a uh, change the text here which is maybe get started okay and this one we could just uh zero dp okay and this one yeah you can just wrap content okay and now we have to give the margin sorry the pattern right and then pattern left and then pattern bottom okay and after that you have to give the margin and you know over here maybe just about a hundred uh, 150 sorry just go with a hundred and this one a hundred too okay and then the margin button has to be maybe uh, 40 dp okay all right so it's still too long so i compress to 130 okay so the reason why i choose this is like you know a zero dp it's because i want to make them uh, responsive as uh, so whenever we let's get them it's gonna be like this okay so it's always be the responsive okay now i'm going to run it into the emulator so this is our simple button and we might wondering uh, are we able to make them you know like a beautiful user interface design and like this a uh, trendy for this era so the the answer is yes but how do we do that it's pretty easy so first of all we need the adobe xd if you don't have the other way to do that, you can use another, uh, another uh, design software. So I'm going to make the rectangle here, like you know, maybe just like this. So basically, this Adobe XD is uh, helping designer to design the button that developer wants. Okay. So we could also use the linear gradient here. Oops. You select this dot like this. Okay. And then I select like this. Okay. So the first color that we could go with the blue. And then we can copy them. And then the, se the second color we have another blue maybe uh, like this. Okay. Like this. Yeah. So as for now, we have to copy this color and then we have to go to RES and then values and then color, right? So we have to register our color, which is uh, for the example, blue one. Oh, sorry. This. And then we can uh, register the second blue that we can get from the Adobe XD here. We're gonna copy them and put over here okay so we got two colors right and then uh, we have to go to a drawable and then we have to make a drawable resource file which is background button blue gradient primary okay and then just okay all right so the basic one we use save and then we have to use the gradient here start color which is just blue one and the end color which is blue two okay is that correct yeah that correct okay 
and then we need solid uh, sorry we don't need solid we just need corner the radius is about 8 dp like i used to write here 8 dp right and then after that what else Sangha? so we just need to close it and we need to paste it in here which is a background button blue gradient primary okay you'll see over there and maybe we need to change the text color to the white FFF okay cool right and if you if you don't want to make them all capitalized so just all caps false okay and we're gonna increase the text size about 22 sp uh no it's a little bit okay just egg okay and then right now i'm going to decrease it maybe this one for just a hundred and then this is just a hundred okay and now run again into the emulator so you'll see there is our button very nice the color is same like we did in the adobe xd right Wow, so this is how do we customize the basic button for the Android application that make your application looks beautiful, right? So yeah, hope you enjoy and thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video tutorial. So goodbye for now and do not forget to subscribe. See you guys. Thank you.